Hi everyone, my name is Sedalia Vital, and I am the co-chair of the Advancing Science and Research Committee for ARN. And I have the honor today to talk to you about how to present your poster in person at a conference. Congratulations, because obviously you're listening to this lecture because you have a poster that was accepted to a conference and you should be extremely proud of all the work you've done. And now it's time to talk a little bit more in detail about what to expect. So for learning objectives for today, we're gonna to discuss preparation factors to consider prior to the conference. What should you do to plan ahead? Describe ways to engage the audience during your poster presentation. This is crucially important because you don't wanna just stand by your poster. You wanna be able to draw on the audience. And thirdly, describe behaviors that prevent productive conversations about the content of your poster. This can be tricky. We'll go over it a little bit more. So your poster was accepted, now what? You should take a moment and look at the poster session guidelines that are provided by the conference. Don't wait until last minute. Read them in detail to understand where your poster is located, what time you are slotted for your presentation, and how long your presentation will last, and any other specifics. Once you're at the conference, I recommend visiting the area where your poster will be located. You may be around a lot of posters, or you may be in an area where the poster can't be viewed. So your guidelines should talk a little bit about whether or not you're printing a poster or if it's being electronically displayed. I have to tell you, electronic display is so much easier. With the technology advancements of today and the big screens that a lot of places have, it makes it easy to create a poster and then display it. But if you're printing it, and trust me, I've printed many posters, you really wanna understand what the guidelines say. So if you print it, make sure you understand if your institution, the place you work, has the ability to print it for you. That makes it so much easier. Or do you need to send it out to have it printed? Believe it or not, that can be very complicated. So give yourself a lot of time to print. Don't wait until last minute. Also, what size do you need to print? What are the measurements? One time I went to a conference, it was my first one, and the poster session guidelines stated that the poster needed to be eight by four. Well, I read it wrong. I thought the poster physically had to be eight feet by four feet. Thought it was pretty big, bigger than me, but that was the measurement of the actual stand that it was on. So when I got to the conference with this giant poster, I plopped it on the stand and it covered the entirety of it. And I had a really hard time hanging it up. So make sure you know what the size measurements are. Also, you can consider cloth or plastic. I've done both as well. The cloth posters print, it's like a piece of linen and you just tack it up onto um, the board. But the plastic roll-up posters take up a lot more room and you have a tube. So if you're flying, you wanna make sure you know which one you're gonna be using and what's the easiest way to carry it. I always go for cloth because it's so much easier to carry. When you get to your poster, you wanna make sure you dress professionally when you're presenting. There's a picture here of a couple of folks that presented their poster and they dress pretty professionally in my standards. So make sure you look neat and clean and tidy. Um, and that you're you know, smiling and open to questions and comments from the audience. Also consider wearing comfortable shoes. I tend to wear shoes that aren't comfortable, but for poster sessions, I will put on a pair of flats just because I know I'm gonna be standing for a while. Be on time for your poster session and wear your name tag. Being on time is so important because people get there early, so should you. That way you're not missing an opportunity to talk to someone. Also, stay close to your poster and be available for discussion. A typical poster presentation lasts five to 15 minutes, and you may repeat your presentation over and over depending on the time allotted. For example, you're gonna have people walking by. They may take a peek at your poster, walk by. They may come back again later, and maybe something else sparked their interest and they'll start talking to you. And that's kind of how it goes. People will be walking back and forth a few times. When you finally have somebody that's engaged, you wanna begin by introducing yourself and hitting the key highlights of your project. You might wanna practice an elevator speech so you are able to really draw in a crowd. Just like me today, as I'm presenting, 
I had to practice to make sure I felt comfortable with what I was saying. Make sure you know your data and your graphs. And it might've been a while that you did this project. It could have been a year ago and now you're finally presenting it. So make sure you brush up on the graphs and the data and be mentally flexible as people may ask you questions while you're presenting. Draw in the audience by smiling and making eye contact and also having you know, body language that infers that you're ready to talk to someone. Don't cross your arms, um, don't stand with your back against the poster and just look really nervous. Just make sure you're smiling and you look relaxed. Be enthusiastic. Oh my goodness, you came all this way to present this fabulous poster. You should be so excited about what you're doing. Greet viewers and offer to any answer any questions. A lot of times it might be a little bit uncomfortable as you see someone kind of looking at your poster. You're not sure if they're there for, you know, just looking around or if they're really interested in the content of your work. So give them an opportunity to say something to you and connect with them. If they look like they have a question, they probably do. So try to make that connection with the audience member, whether it's, hey, I like your shirt or how are you doing? My name is so-and-so. -so. Do you have any questions about my poster? Just make it easy and relaxed. Don't get too involved with only one person and ignore everyone else. There might be someone that you know that comes to your poster and wants to start ch chatting with you about things. And then you're ignoring the other folks that are kind of walking by. So make sure you're evenly sharing your knowledge with other people around you. Have a copy of your poster for those who may be interested. This is so important. When I've gone to conferences and I've gone up to posters, you know, I could take a picture of the poster with my phone, but I'm less likely to look at it. I would rather physically have something in my hand that I can put in my bag and maybe pull it out when I'm in the airport or when I get back to the office or to my floor where I'm working and take a look at the poster. And it should have your contact information on it so that you're able to connect with that person later on. So you can either have your contact information on the poster that you've printed, the handout, or you can bring your business cards with you. If you know how to do QR codes, um, I've done those as well. It's an opportunity for the uh, folks to take out their phones and scan the QR code so that it can make it easy for that person to download your poster and also your handouts and any survey tools that you used. If you don't have a QR code, have a copy of your tools available. So if you did a project where there was a survey and you feel comfortable sharing your survey tool with the person, have those available to hand out. Sometimes it can be difficult to um, deal with certain behaviors that are coming through. Um, a lot of people are coming to really look at your poster and give you insight and feedback. And that can be difficult. I did get my PhD a few years ago. And one of the lessons that I learned in my PhD program is that critique is really important. People giving you feedback, um, offering suggestions is really so crucial because it makes your work even better the next time. So be open to feedbacks as it will help you further, further develop your idea and don't take it personal. People may also ask you very tough questions, things that you didn't think about. So if you don't know the answer to the question being asked, you may consider saying, that is an interesting thought. Can you tell me more? Maybe they can explain it in a different way where you may understand what they're saying. If someone offers you advice on what you could do further with your project, you can respond. That is interesting. I will definitely consider it. It's affirming what they're saying, and it's also acknowledging that you're going to take it seriously. Most importantly, of all of the things that I just mentioned, you have accomplished a huge career milestone. Be proud of the work you put into this poster and the success of having it accepted as a conference. You've also networked, networked with so many professionals in rehab nursing. Please take the time and celebrate. I wanna say thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. And if you have any further questions, please reach out. I'm available as well for answering questions about your poster. My email is C-I-D-A-L-I-A dot V-I-T-A-L at Baystate health.org. Thank you and have a great day.